The world is waking up and this is the tipping point. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Scott McKay. Welcome to this uh, impromptu live stream tonight. Uh, I am the host of the tipping point on Revolution Radio. Welcome to tonight's broadcast. Folks, um, I'm going to go very high speed tonight, talk as fast as I can because I do. And the main reason we're here tonight is because we see this unbelievable dynamic happening in the United States like we've never dreamed we would see in this post-election chaos. And about four days ago, a friend of mine, uh, Jim Bothell in South Carolina, called me up and said, Scott, you know, I was with a couple of uh, friends, business friends of mine, and I can tell you people are terrified by what they're seeing. I'm going to have a group of folks over at my house on Sunday night. Would you mind, could we do a live stream or a Zoom uh, meeting? I'll put it up on our TV and maybe you can just explain to the people what's happening right now in America to alleviate their concerns and the fear that we may lose the country to this radical left wing, uh, cabal powered Biden campaign, etc. So, of course, we did that, did a real quick 30 minute uh, rundown on exactly what's happening because most of America does not have any idea that this is a military operation. This election was a military grade sting operation to bring down the criminal power structure that has been ruling this country for a very long time in every country around the world. So we did a live stream or we did a Zoom and uh, I ended up recording it, putting it up on YouTube and it got about 16,000 views literally overnight. So what I realized was America is terrified. They see everything that's unfolding. And many people now feel that we've lost the country because if this administration, or I should say faux president elect actually took power, trust me, what's coming for America is what all you've feared and heard about in the past, the ushering into the one world government, new world order. This plan's been laid out for a long time and I'm here to assure you that isn't gonna happen. So let me explain a couple things to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this back a number of years so you can understand that what the Trump presidency basically is, is a de facto military presidency that was established and put in place a long time ago. Bear with me for a second. You're shutting off a fan so it doesn't make any noise. So there was a plan put in place to bring down this global criminal Rothschild London central banking enterprise that can, completely controls the whole planet, controls every country. It's far deeper than I have time to get into tonight. But what I can tell you is this, back in the 60s when they took out Kennedy, Kennedy was the first guy who ever stared down the barrel of that gun and told him he was coming. And they killed him, literally five blocks down the street, same street where I live here in Dallas, Texas. So when this happened, there were about 200 military generals got together and they knew that they had to devise a plan. They had to get smarter. They had to find a way to infiltrate this corrupt power structure that's been pulling all the strings on the United States and other countries worldwide for a very long time. To give you a high speed history of how we got here, 1871, Congress passed what's called the Organic Act of Columbia in 1871. We were broke, we needed money, and we were, and the, the central bankers, the Rothschild central bankers in London, talked our president into creating a United States corporation. That United States corporation is a corporation that is designed to govern this nation, the land of the United States. Moving forward over the next number of years, by the time we hit about 19, 10, 11, or 12, uh, we had sold enough bonds to be able to have money to run the government. And the Rothschild Central Bankers bought up all of these bonds. And when it came time to pay the bonds about 1910, 1911, they couldn't, they, they, the money wasn't there, we weren't solvent. So they talked our criminal president and Congress into creating a Federal Reserve Bank where they would simply write a number on a piece of paper, call it money, it's not backed by anything, hand it off to our government and we had to pay them interest, they had us buried. So this corporation now, the United States Corporation, then by the time we hit 1934, there's a Bretton Woods Act. Again, the criminal Congress, the traitors in Congress, then quit claimed the United States Corporation to the International Monetary Fund. This country has been ruled by a foreign power for a very long time. Fast forward to 1999, the second and final bankruptcy of the United States happened. There was a window and an opening to get control of the government. I'll do another show on this 
on how uh, David Wynn Miller and, J and J. Rus Russell J. Gold got control of the Title IV flag in the United States in an 18-day period after the bankruptcy, seized the Title IV flag, saved us from going back under the rule of the British crown. Right about that time, this plan that I'm going to tell you about had been underway for decades. But in the last 20 years, we had our people, the, we'll call them the patriots, the alliance powers, which are patriots in the military, some politicians, some good guys, <clears throat> some business people, and 22 alliance nations around the world. And this alliance had been orchestrating the infiltration of all the global power structures that have been taken over in every country by this cabal. So now moving into 2015, we were at a, at, truly at a tipping point. It was at that point in 2015 that Admiral Mike Rogers, a true American hero, a Navy Admiral, was named commander of the NSA. That's when they knew at that point, when they got control of the NSA, the NSA has been cataloging, logging, recording every single email, every phone call, every text message, every form of communication, everything you've done, NSA has been surveilling and cataloging everything about your life and everybody's life. That became a weapon instead of a defensive weapon. It was an offensive weapon, weapon, national security agency designed to do one thing, to enslave humanity. The Alliance powers, the Patriots infiltrated the apparatus. They got control of the NSA. So now that the NSA has shown everything about all of our lives, good and bad, it also did one thing. It put every single one of these bad guys, all these criminals in government in Washington, D.C., big tech, multinational corporations, military industrial complex, the monarchies around the world, the Vatican, go down through the list. This is a massive corrupt power structure. Anyways, in 2015, uh, they knew that was a tipping point. The U.S. military was prepared to launch a coup on the government. Didn't matter who was in power. The government in Washington, D.C. has become so corrupt that it no longer functioned for the people because they don't work for the American people. They're not elected and seated in positions in our constitutional government. They're all seated in positions inside corporate U.S. and they serve the corporation. All those things that make you go, hmm, or what the hell is going on here? That's why. That should explain it. Now, what happened was the mil military intelligence intercepted a 16-year plan by the, the cabal to take down the United States. Eight years of Obama and then eight years of Hillary Clinton to finish us off. Obama took us to the brink. We were basically over the edge. Hillary was mop up operations. And I'm going to get down through some of the timeline of events that you're aware of that I can tie into this so you can understand. You've seen it unfold. You just didn't know what it meant until tonight at any point. When Hillary Clinton was going to come into power, the NSA unrigged the election. It was already rigged for Hillary Clinton to win. She was mop up operations. During the time of her running the State Department, you know about Uranium One. Uranium One was a scandal where the State Department under Hillary Clinton, Vladimir Putin, which is bullshit, he's not her enemy. In any case, they sold this uranium to Vladimir Putin. The purpose for selling him that uranium was they skimmed uranium off the top of that stockpile. If you ever seen the movie, The Sum of All Fears with Ben Affleck, Morgan Freeman, you'll understand this. If you haven't, go watch it and you'll get it. They skimmed uranium off of that stockpile before they sold it to them. They flew three planes to North Korea, Iran, and Syria, where the CIA, the rogue CIA, responsible for all the wars and all the regime changes around the world, they built nuclear weapons. Under Hillary's tenure, they were going to launch a nuclear weapon on U.S. soil and they were going to trace the signature back to the, the Vladimir Putin stockpile, blame him, launch a thermonuclear retaliatory strike on Moscow and kick the whole thing off. That was going to be their whole thin the herd on the planet. Now, military intelligence stopped that. Of course, they approached Donald Trump. They knew he couldn't be bought. They knew he had his own money. They knew he was a patriot. And they needed, for the first time, they needed to have the power of the executive branch to take this down a final step to launch a massive attack on the deep state power structure and bring the whole thing down once and for all, save the country, save the world. That's bringing you up to speed. Now we have Donald Trump coming to power. So what have you seen the whole time Trump has been in power? You've seen this relentless attack from it doesn't matter if it's from the Democratic Party, 
which is a crime syndicate, the Republican Party, which is a criminal element. If it's from international leaders around the world, whether it's the United Nations, whether it's the Vatican, every piece of this global cabal, this apparatus has been in full attack mode to take down the most existential threat that this group has ever faced, and that's with the Donald Trump pres presidency. So now that we're here, at this point that Trump is president, you see all these things happening. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this right down to where we are today, and you'll see the picture once I walk you through this. So what happens is they have to throw everything they can think of at Trump to get him out of power because they know what's coming. Nothing is going to stop what's coming. They're not going to not try, but they know what's coming. If they don't take out Donald Trump, this isn't win or lose for these people, folks. It's win or die. It's win or die. They are eliminated from the planet. This is their last Hail Mary, this election, to try to finally get control, regain the power at all costs, at all costs. Regain this power so they can stop the Trump presidency and the military from bringing them down, destroying them once and for all, freeing the entire planet up, freeing up all of humanity to now have the incredible abundance that this entire planet offers and a lifestyle every human could have. But they've built this matrix that we live in, this machine that we operated in. I don't care if you call it communism, you call it capitalism, socialism, Marxism, Nazism, those are all created by this power structure. Every war that we fought since World War II has been financed by the European central bankers, the global central bankers, the Rothschild banking empire. They finance every war, their, their military industrial complex, they profit off of that they own, they make all that money, anything to do the support of war. This is all planned, none of this is by accident. This is the target of the Alliance powers. So now here we are, we come right up. I mean, you, if you go down through the list of attacks that have happened in Trump, let's take General Flynn. Now, everything you've seen in the pr Trump presidency that's been playing out, it is a movie. It is a very highly engineered, scripted movie to lead all of us to a conclusion with a primary intention to wake people the hell up so they can finally see for themselves the truth of what's going on. And this military intelligence operation dissemination program started this whole thing off. So October 28th, 2017 was the first time this, this group, this, whoever this group of military intelligence people are dropped some intelligence on what is called the 4chan boards. These are a very obscure underground messaging platform. Once these first Intel drops hit, people noticed them. They didn't know what they were. They didn't know what they meant. They were kind of surreal, but they started to share these, these drops and they came out fast and furious for four or five days. And what that did was it created an underground movement of people trying to figure out what this meant. Now, this, this became the greatest military intelligence dissemination operation in world history. It had one purpose, to ask the questions that people have on their mind point in a direction of where they could go do their own research. It would point to articles in obscure publications, major public publications. It could be executive orders that were written. It could be legislation. It could be photographs. It could be anything. But this organization, we know there's less than 10 of them inside the administration. Six of them are not, or three are non-military. There's less than 10 that know everything about what we call the plan. So as they started to drop this intel, they started to lay out a roadmap of the future, of what was coming, of how they were going to wake up the people, wake up the sheep, wake up the planet once and for all. So the planet, the people, the world can see the truth of what's really happening before it's too late. So that started that op that operation gained high speed in about four or five months. So then it become thousands to tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands to millions to tens of millions of people worldwide in every country on the planet following this operation known as Q. If you've heard it, people call it QAnon. It's not, it's called Q. You've watched the media attack it. You watch the shills attack it. You've watched the people who have not done their homework and the due diligence that we've done for three years, dissect, dissecting this information, following it, 
watch an events happen in real time, watch proof after proof after proof to know we have a legitimate power that has a bulletproof plan to bring this criminal empire down once and for all. This is what the Trump presidency is. It always has been. It is a de facto military presidency to save our ass because we've been too lazy and we've been too comfortable. We've been too ignorant. We've been too apathetic to do it ourselves. And now this country has gone to the brink, to the very edge. And right now, these guys, with the help of you, are going to save it with what I'm going to share with you. But you watch what happened with Mike Flynn, General Flynn. Let's talk Jeff Sessions for a minute, just to give you an idea of how this movie plays out. General Sessions is the attorney general. Trump starts attacking his own attorney general because he recused himself from the Russia investigation. What did that do? That left a deep state criminal puppet, Rod Rosenstein, to step up, take over the investigation. Robert Mueller, the whole gang, these people are all corrupt. So while Sessions is being attacked by Trump, there was a plan going on. This was all set up. This was staged. Sessions was a perfect actor. Trump is the perfect actor. While he's beating the hell out of Sessions on Twitter and attacking him, the strategy was it got the left, the Democrats, Hollywood, everybody to put their arms around Sessions and say, if you fire this attorney general, we're going to impeach you. The Democrats had control of the House. So now you have the enemy circling wagons around Jeff Sessions to protect him. They wanted this feckless attorney general in power to do nothing, so they're safe. What Sessions was doing privately and quietly was he was assigning John Huber out in Utah to convene grand juries against all these people. He was assigning John Durham up in Massachusetts privately, quietly outside of the DC swamp to start convening grand juries against all these criminals, the whole, the whole show. So at this point in time today, since that started, okay, it was a, it was a ruse to keep these criminals occupied with somebody else in office of sessions. Sessions was a Patriot. Sessions has another role to play coming up in this operation. You saw one thing, but we knew what was really going on. This is a staged play. This is Broadway. Okay. So you just have to watch this movie play out. Look at Mike Flynn. Mike Flynn is the next attack victim by the cabal right out of the gate. Take down General Mike Flynn, an American hero, a 30 year army intelligence officer. Why did they take down Flynn? General Flynn knows where everybody is buried. The 911 inside attack by Bush, Clinton, H.W. Bush, the Clintons, Mossad, CIA. The cover-up by Robert Mueller's FBI, he knows everything. He knows about the Uranium One scandal. He knows everything about Benghazi, the Hillary Clinton emails. This guy knows where every body is buried in D.C. He is the most lethal threat to this power structure, the Obama regime. So what did they do? What they did was they accused Mike Flynn of of talking to somebody that he wasn't supposed to talk to a Russian ambassador after Trump became president elect. Let me alert you to the truth. I worked 16 years. I worked elective politics. I walked away in 2006 when I realized that everybody virtually is corrupt. So I walked away from my dream of targeting the United States Senate because I knew they would get me too. So when I walked away, I never stopped paying attention and I saw what was becoming of our country. And when I stumbled across this and I saw what General Flynn had to offer, here's what General Flynn did. He did nothing that every single administration has to do, is required to do when they're incoming to replace another administration. They've got to plug all of their tentacles of influence and power and relationships into the apparatus. You don't walk in on day one. You start months ahead of time unplug here, plug it in over there to get ever, all the rela rela relationships in place. Be because you don't know any better, you have no idea how this works, what did they do? They attacked Flynn for talking to a Russian ambassador, which he shouldn't have talked to. They caught him on a phone call. It was all bullshit, but you don't know that. And then they sell it through the criminal mainstream, CIA controlled mockingbird media over and over and over, everybody thinks Flynn's a criminal. If you know anything about the legal system or politics, you know it's all bullshit. Mike Flynn does what? Mike Flynn pleads guilty to a crime he didn't commit. You would say he's gotta be guilty, he pled guilty. Let me explain this to you. So why does Mike Flynn plead guilty? <clears throat> Here's why. 
when Mike Flynn pleads, this is a military operation. Let me ask yourself one question. Just use common sense and reason and logic here. What is the likelihood that you're going to get a 30 year army intelligence officer, a general, a, the director of national intelligence in the United States, what is the likelihood that this guy is going to be caught on a phone call on an unsecured line with somebody he's not supposed to be talking to? What are the chances? Zero. It's absurd. Okay. What back to the question, why did this guy plead guilty? Because when Mike Flynn pleads guilty, Mike Flynn is put into a room in a deposition, cutting a plea deal. He's required to divulge every single piece of information of whatever crime, quote unquote, he's involved in and every single crime that he has any knowledge of on the whole scope of his career required by law. What does that mean? That means now that General Flynn is inside of a room for months writing down everything about everybody and every crime he's ever seen. Here's a closer that is admissible in a court of law. None of his knowledge is admissible. He can't just spew it out. We're talking national security secrets in the legal system. They walked right into the trap and now Mike Flynn is able to depose everything. DOJ, dismissed his charges recently because they have no case. Now we have a deep state judge, R. M. Or Emma G. Sullivan in the district, uh, DC district court, circuit court that will not allow them to drop the case. He's a judge, he's not a prosecutor. It's unconstitutional what he's doing. He's a deep state criminal. Why is he doing it? Because if, if, they, if they don't sign off on this thing, Flynn can't talk. If they sign off, doesn't matter if he's violating the Constitution. His career's done. He's, he's gone. But they have to do whatever they have to do. They have to win at all costs because this is the existential threat of their existence, all of them. So that's Mike Flynn. Look at Dan Coates. People keep saying nothing's happening. I can go through a list. I don't have time. I can go through a list of 30 people that have been fired at the top of the leadership of DOJ and FBI under Trump. We can look at 300 deep state federal judges that have now been replaced with constitutional judges. We can look inside every government agency right now and you see this constant house cleaning. Look at uh, the, the most recent firing, which was the Secretary of Defense, Esper. Why? That's a different story. It's a deep state criminal. Look at General Mattis. Look at Mad Dog Mattis. I call him Sad Dog Mattis. He's the defense secretary. He's trying to keep us fighting and fighting and fighting in Syria to keep the wars going. Love what he did. I love my soldiers. They know that. But there's too many of these people have infiltrated the military. These military guys, the military industrial complex wants to fight. They want wars. It's the greatest machine, uh, pr printing machine on the planet. They don't want war to go away. Trump hasn't started a single war. We're getting out of them. So what is sad dog Mattis does? He leaves the administration. He's barking at Trump on the way out. And here's what closed it for me. When I saw an article with it, when his mother died, instead of sending any money or flowers, he said, please donate to Planned Parenthood in his mother's name. I'm going to throw things at you of the expectation you are going to do your own research. I tell my friend, my folks, my listeners on the show, I'm not doing all the work for you. That's how we got into this situation. I'm going to throw you out all the things that, or the things that I know that I've researched and many thousands of us have. It's time that you do your own homework. You've got to go dig and you have to see this stuff for yourself. But that's when I realized that Mad Dog Mattis was a deep stater. And then we can look at Christopher Ray, FBI director. Same shit all over again. This guy's in there. They should be prosecuting people. Christopher Ray is a deep state puppet. He was a sleeper that was activated. Folks, these sleepers are everywhere. If you're listening to my show, you hear me calling these people. This is Washington, D.C. is a crime syndicate. It is an organized crime syndicate. The Vatican, the British monarchies. These multinational corporations, big tech, you see him shutting down Trump's Twitter. I've had my, my best guys, the people that I follow on YouTube, they're shut down. What we knew before the election, 
If you go back and listen to any of my shows, I record. Uh, we're on Monday night, by the way, 8 to 10 every Monday, Eastern time at revolution.radio. The show is called The Tipping Point. I take every recording and I upload it onto my YouTube channel. You can go back and you can see everything I've covered all year on all this stuff. You just run a search engine for, you, you're on this live stream, so you're on it, uh, The Tipping Point Radio. But we knew before the election that the media, who's controlled by the CIA, we knew that they were going to declare a victory for Biden regardless of how bad Trump was beating him. What they did was they stopped the Trump landslide. I said all year, it's going to be a 49-state Trump landslide. California is going to go red. We won't get New York. What we now found out on election day is what? We found out Trump won 49 states on election day voting. California was 67 to 33, Trump to Biden. Why did they have COVID-19, this bioweapon attack? Why did they push for lockdowns? Why did they push for mail-in voting? You are now seeing it, folks. You're seeing all of this yourself. I'm going to try to wrap this up in a couple minutes. You're seeing all of this yourself. I could go through all the minutia of all the voter fraud, of everything you're seeing. What I'm telling you is that's nothing. That's the tip of the iceberg. This operation was set up by Department of Homeland Security as a sting operation to bring down this criminal power structure once and for all. So we've got this very rocky, painful, uncertain period of time. This thing's going to play out. It's going to play out. And most important reason why is the most important thing is the world. What's the one thing in the world everybody on the planet is focused on? Everybody on earth in every country. What are they looking at? They are looking right here at the U.S. presidential election. They want to know where the world's going because where the U.S. goes, so goes the world. This isn't Republican versus Democrat. This is not left versus right. This is good versus evil, period, plain and simple. This is the war that's going on. This is the war that you need to get into. This is a fight you need to get into because... Because too many of us in this country have done nothing for a very long time. We've watched this shit happen. We've watched all this stuff continue, and we're being punished. They're playing this out for a couple reasons. We're going to feel the pain because we refuse to hold these criminals in D.C. accountable. These state legislatures, these politicians are full of shit. I wanted to be one of them. It was my dream. These guys are full of shit. The, most of the people in there are. They get bought off. They get honey pots that they fall into, traps, honey pot traps. They're bribed. They're threatened. They're paid off. They're completely compromised. The military knew the day Trump took power, they could have taken down Washington, D.C., all of it. They didn't because we couldn't survive it. They know that 70% of every politician in D.C. in 2016, if they went and rested them all, it would be 70%. 70% of the people in DC, that's where we are. That's why this operation is underway. Everything you're seeing now is only the, it's not even a tip of the iceberg. You're seeing chunks in the water. The tip of the iceberg is what you're learning about. Dominion voter systems doing what? Designed to switch votes by the millions. You were looking at the, um, the hammer pro project from 2003, the software that was designed to keep terrorists out of this country John Brennan, CIA director under Obama, and James Comey stole it, refashioned it for the elections. You look at the scorecard platform, same thing. All this technology to steal elections. Here's the kill shot. The kill shot is what the cabal didn't know. What they've done, and I talked about the quantum financial system in past episodes. It's coming online. It's going to end all the crime of the banking system, everything, theft on every level. The quantum voting system that was put into play. What the cabal didn't know was that the paper, the company that provides the paper for all the ballots that the states create, was marked with a non-radioactive isotope watermark, which means they can GPS track every single one of these ballots anywhere on the planet. They've been watching this thing play out for months. They, all these ballots are being thrown away, burned, all this stuff. They have it all. They have everything. They've got these people buried. I, and I mean buried. What you're seeing now is pale in comparison to what, what's going to come. So all I can tell you is this. The patriots are in full control. You have nothing to worry about. 
This was set up rather than try to tell you all about this after they go arrest people. By the way, at this point now, we've got 190,000 plus sealed indictments parked on the sidelines at DOJ right now. In any given year, it's about 1,000. Three years, three years, we are over 190,000. That's how big this criminal empire is. Right down to the satanic ritual abuse, torture, and murder of our most precious asset, the children, that goes on at the highest levels of Washington, D.C., both sides of the aisle, both sides, Hollywood, big tech, the monarchies, the Vatican, the largest human trafficking organization on the planet, the Vatican. Now, these things may shock you. Here's the problem. I have no problem shocking you. I don't care what you think. Here's why. Because nobody seems to have the will to say these things out loud, to tell you exactly these things that are happening in this world. Everybody puts their head in the sand. We don't have time for that anymore. Right now, it's go time. It's show time. What do you need to do? Get into the fight. Get into the fight. Wherever there might be somewhere that people are gathering in support of Trump, talk to your friends, whoever. You need to have a voice. Everything has come to this point at stake. We nearly lost the country because people are too afraid to offend their coworker, offend somebody they work with, offend whoever. You've learned on my radio show, I don't give a shit. I could care less if somebody <clears throat> ideologically is standing in the way between my future and my freedom. There are no rules. There are no rules of engagement. These people have to be woken up. And unfortunately, some are going to get a sledgehammer to wake up. But what you are going to see happen, and it's happening right now, is the Great Awakening. That's why Trump, when you look at the real numbers of this election, when they discard all these bullshit criminal ballots that the Chinese sent in here, and you see the true numbers of this election, you're going to realize, holy Mary, mother of God, this truly is the Great Awakening. That's why black America has doubled their support for Trump. They're waking up. They're leaving the plantation. The Hispanic community, same thing. They're waking up. The world is waking up. It had to be this way because you can't tell people the truth. As, as military intelligence has said to us, you can't tell them the truth. You must show them. And now you're seeing it with your own eyes. You're watching this insanity from this criminal enterprise called the Democrat Party that'll do anything to win at all costs because they've got to get rid of this guy or they're buried. They didn't upgrade Guantanamo Bay by 200 million for nothing. If you've been on my radio show, I've had Mill Spec Ops Monkey on Twitter on a number of times, former military. I've had Delta Force guys come on. Uh, these guys, uh, uh, Monkey uh, is from Air is Defense Aerospace Industry. He can tell you all the planes coming in and out of from Florida, Lauderdale, D.C., wherever to Guantanamo on a regular basis for these military tribunals. You're going to be shit shocked when you learn everything that's been going on under the radar in a full attack to take down this criminal empire. And I'm telling you, when they do, you have no idea what's coming. Freeing this planet up from the servitude and bondage that you're in. I don't care how much money you make. You have no idea how good it should be. But when they when this is a pile of smoking rubble, when you're going to learn what's coming, what they're going to free up on the planet that has been stolen from us and has been ripped off from the most powerful economic force the world has ever seen, the United States taxpayer, it's going to blow your mind. All I can tell you is we now are at the edge. We are at the dawn of a new age. And this new age that they're going to usher in is going to be unlike anything we could have ever imagined in a very good way. We nearly lost it. We nearly lost it. But right now, it's time that every one of you get on the playing field. You need to, you don't need a radio show. You just need a voice. You need to stand your ground and draw lines and say, this is where I stand. Because if you don't, it's going to take us a little bit longer to get there. All I can say is it has turned out to be one hell of a show. I've been following this operation for three years. A lot of research. And I can just tell you this. It's unlike anything I'd ever imagined. This is a dream state. I gave up in 06. I walked away. I continued my research, but I thought we're never going to, we're going to lose the country. And then I saw Trump make his speech to announce in 2015. And I said right there, holy hell, this is real. We have somebody. I had no idea what was coming. 
But all I can say is grab a bucket of popcorn, enjoy this show because it is already scripted out. They have these people cornered. They're simply going to play this out so they can burn themselves to the ground by themselves. That's why Q has said, never interfere with an enemy in the process of destroying itself. That's what you're seeing. They have every move countered. Trump will retain power. And then they're going to bring Sodom and Gomorrah to the ground. That's what's in play. That's what you're going to see. So I'm going to go ahead and take, I've got Jim Bothell. Uh, he is going to, he's been watching the chat boards and uh, some people may have had some questions and he's going to uh, send over to me. He's going to talk to us here for a minute, throw any questions at me that he grabbed off the boards. And uh, I'll answer a few questions. What I recommend you do, I'll go ahead and load this uh, or keep this up on YouTube, but every probably two, twice a week, I'm going to update you on what's happening in motion on this takedown operation. And I do recommend you check out uh, the Tipping Point Radio YouTube channel. There's a lot of great shows with information on there. Um, I recommend you find one. It's called uh, the 26 Cabal Puppet Takedown, if you can remember that. One thing I highly, highly recommend you do, if anything grabbed you tonight, this is very important, one of the most important things you can do. You need to go to YouTube and run a search for a video called The Plan to Save the World by Joe M. The Plan to Save the World. It's 13 minutes. Find that video. Watch it. It'll give you a 10,000 foot view on this Trump presidency, on this military operation to bring this thing down. Anyways, uh, let's...